All right, today we're gonna to take a look at the difference between KISS and Betaflight tuned. So let's do this. Oh, that's nice, I like that view. Engines armed. Hover seems good. Taking a look at smooth forward flight there. Drift looks good. Yeah, a little bit, but not too bad. Not not bad. Not bad. Ah, oh, they can only do a little bit better on throbbles. can see the uh, prop wash is pretty good. Yeah. Prop wash is pretty good. Bounce back stuff is good. Smooth forward flight looks pretty good, right? Looks pretty good. Um, what else moves? So we got the... I think that notch humped a lot with the vibrations at full throttle. This quad has a, some frame resonance at 100 to 80 hertz. Uh, what else do we need to try? I think drift flowing down. There's a little bit, of, you know, beta flight does a little bit better, but it's not, not that bad. See the eye turn kind of adjusting there as you get off the throttle. I want to do some. Uh... Well, I guess uh, the other thing I would add to Kiss is some sort of feed forward. If if they want to try, if it wants to try to be competitive and tracking your rates, because it has quite a bit of lag. Uh, but I don't think that matters so much to freestyle. Well, it doesn't matter so much to all freestyle pilots. Some freestyle pilots it does, but not all. They don't care that, you know, their quad's not really tracking the sticks as much. Engines armed. All right, let's do some smooth forward flight here. Just real quick. A little bit of breeze out today, but not too bad. Just like that constant winter breeze. Yeah, it's kicking up a little bit. Just a little bit, uh, A little bit of a uh, bounce back check there, and we're pretty good. Give it hell on prop wash.
throttle check there looks pretty good not, not too bad a little tough with the gloves but Ugh, stinking gloves, man. <laughs> Love my glove. Sticks to the stick. Brings the throttle up, even though I kind of let go. So it looks pretty good. I mean, it, there's a little bit of wash. You have to really compare the HD between the two to tell the difference, but I don't think it's bad. Yeah, stick responses look good there. All right, we're getting down 14 volts. Bring it in. Engines disarmed. So not too bad. We'll have to check out the HD between the two and see what you guys see, see what you like best. So what do you guys think? I've been trying to play that balance pretty hard with between providing feedback because I know some people want to hear what my thoughts are, but others don't. <laughs> so I'm trying to do that balance in between of it doesn't really matter what I think, especially when it's anything subjective. Uh, it really doesn't matter. It matters what you think and what you like. Where I think the best way to kind of play that is to just weigh in on the objective things. The stuff that's obvious, that's measurable, reproducible, and stuff I can clearly point to. One of the things I noticed during the testing is just some of the iTerm stuff that KISS uh, has that Betaflight has kind of worked through over the years. And you can see that right here. This top is the KISS log just with some simple roll moves and the, the tuned flight that we just saw. And this is beta flight. So you can see how KISS has this big I-term windup. Now you can't see this, so to many it probably doesn't matter. Uh, and there's no bounce back down here because obviously I tuned that to, to not have any bounce back. Uh, this I-term windup is a real issue and I don't know how you exactly solve it just because you can't, I can't lower I-term anymore because if I do, then you get nose drift when um, you go to zero throttle chop. I mean, I tried. Uh, and I have P and D gains as high as I can go um, in KISS and I've kind of worked with some of the guys crunked specifically on looking at kind of a lower range of PND gains and then a higher range and he agreed that the ones that I had that I just showed there with the higher range were look better in flight footage so that's what we're going with and uh, I have the PND balance kind of uh, in there with critically damped again I've been working with people on this as I went on my discord channel and you can go to the discord and see that in the KISS channel log so this is kind of where we're at. This is, uh, again, the kiss for just two simple rolls. And I, I mean, I have the whole thing. What I will do is I will make a link down in the comments below. I'll make a pinned comment where you can download this log and the raw HD stuff and check that out. Uh, this bottom one here is just the beta flight. And you can see that, you know, it's just a little tighter to the stick field. So kind of what I'm seeing here is more indicative of what I think people subjectively feel is that kiss is more flowy and that's more I term, you know, kind of controlled, and beta flight's more of a uh, locked feel, I guess, with you know your sticks or whatnot. Now that's not to say you can't get the same kiss flowiness with beta flight, right? You can turn off some of the features that have kind of tackled those I term things over the years and crank up your I terms and kind of get that same flowy feel. And that will be some of the next content I'm going to do. Where I'm going to talk about how you can adjust beta flight to get the same behavior that I'm seeing at least uh, from the KISS side there. So if you're interested in that, definitely subscribe. If you're interested in a little bit more dissection of what I'm seeing in the logs, we're gonna do that this week on the Patreon only content. Until then, thanks everybody. I hope this helped. I hope you enjoyed this content and be kind in the comments. I mean, it's just uh, fly what you want. Oh, and by the way, Either way, uh, I have links down below and they are affiliate links. Yeah, you can pick up the KISS gear if you're really liking that. 
And also Link, uh, hopefully I haven't looked yet actually for the flight controller, it's the JHMCU flight controller was the one that I was uh, using on that, which I'm kind of liking more and more. So I'll make a link down to that or another other flight controllers that I've recommended. So if you think I wasn't fair to KISS because you know I do so much beta flight content or do contribute to the project, well, hopefully that can make you see that it's actually better for me if you use the links and get KISS gear. So I'm trying to be as fair as I can be, but when I notice something, I gotta say something. I mean, uh, you want me to not just cover things up, right? So yeah, we're gonna stay focused on the objective stuff and uh, work up a beta flight tune that can objectively get us to the same spot that I'm seeing from what I got on the KISS. Again, thanks everybody for your time and I'll see you in the next one.